Good morning, Facebook fans. This is now my first testing of this uh, bubbler. And you can see the comparison. That is the small bubbler. Small one. See? This bubbler is good only for 3 liters below. 3 liters of oxygen and hydrogen gas below. And this one, this one also, See? See? One of the things that I like with this kind of bubbler is because it has a small bubbles compared to the other one. See? See? And here, there is my Plus back arrestor. All of these three here are made for my 101 HHO generator. Because this can handle uh, much pressure or volume of HHO gas. And these three here are made the same with this one. See? So it has a small one, medium one, and the large one. And they are made the same as this one. And, and in here, see, this is my motorcycle dry cell. It's, it's a generator. Almost done. I only need more uh, stainless steel bolts because I lack about four of them but it's almost ready the only thing need to do is uh, to make the the gasket apply a thin layer of silicone gasket maker and let it dry for four hours the reason for doing that is because uh, one of good mechanic that I know explained me that when you apply thin layer of gasket maker and let it dry for four hours before you use it is good then apply it and put it right away because the gasket, the silicone material will dry. And one other thing is, this is my old generator. This one. This is my oldest one. I built this one way back 2006. This is my first HHO generator. 5 by 8 by 31 plates. It can... It can produce about 2.5 liter per minute of it, it's gas. And this one is originally built with coupled with this transformer, a 150 ampere 12 volt transformer. This is homemade. I made it myself. See, see how thick the the wire. The, the secondary wire is number 6, magnetic wire. The primary winding is number 14. And see that how thick is the core. And it has a rectifier there. See? And it has a cooling fan also. And the reason why I am rebuilding this one, because I want this one. Oh, by the way, this is a seven stack cell, and it put out forty six amperes, twelve volts. And I'm I am rebuilding this one 
to make it just one stack. One stack meaning I am going to put supply on both ends only. This one and this one. All are neutrals. And the reason for that is to bring down the amperes. See? And instead of using this thick gauge wire here, I am only now using this one. This power transformer from an amplifier. See? Just a small gauge of wire now. High voltage. About 64 volts. And with this one, rectifier, 60 amperes. And I'm planning to use this one to minimize heat and bring down current. So, with all these things, I am updating everyone in my group, It's It's of Philippines. And I'm planning to run... 5.5 horsepower electric generator without a gasoline with this one. See? And my motorcycle cell. This is just 25 plates. Uh, about um, 5 stack. 5 stack. 5 stack. Dry cell. This is a generator. See? See? So, for those who are afraid of this one, because they find it very dangerous, you have your choice, but, but I will tell you this is tested. I am using this flashback arrestor for long period of time. So, thank you everyone and good day.